Alaska Airlines says they've grounded about 60 of their 737 MAX 9s. United Airlines, the only other airline that uses this model of plane, says they've grounded their fleet as well. They also say they found an unspecified number of loose door bolts, which leads to this big question. How often are passengers flying in dangerous situations? On Monday, the National Transportation Safety Board said they found the door that flew off Alaska Airlines Flight 1282. We are emergency. We are depressurized. Video Fox 13 News obtained from inside the Boeing 737 MAX 9 showed the terror in flight as the aircraft flew with the missing plug. Since this shocking event, passengers have faced nightmares at airports across the country. First, they canceled our flight. We didn't know when or where we were going to go. Then they sent us, they were taking us to Portland and then Burbank today, and then they changed that, canceled that. On Monday alone, Alaska Airlines canceled at least 140 flights and United Airlines canceled about 200 flights. With the planes grounded, airlines are forced to scramble and there's no timeline for when this will be resolved. Do not rush this. We want those airplanes flying. We will not fly an unsafe airplane as captain. That's my moral and professional obligation, but do not rush your review. Dennis Tager is a pilot for American Airlines. He flies Boeing 737s. He also is a spokesperson for the Allied Pilots Association, the union for American Airlines pilots. While the investigation for the actual cause of Friday's incident is still ongoing, Tager tells me he's losing faith in Boeing. We had the 737 MAX a couple years ago. Two of them went down, 346 lives lost. We see Boeing in the news consistently. Tager recently spoke out on Boeing's request for safety exemptions for their current 737 models that have de-icer issues, which can cause a loss of plane control. Boeing provided me with a statement regarding Friday's in-flight incident that reads in part, we agree with and fully support the FAA's decision to require immediate inspections of 737-9 MAX airplanes with the same configuration as the affected airplane. Officials with Boeing tell me they're having a company-wide safety meeting tomorrow at their Renton facility. You can count on continued coverage as well. To look at Boeing's full statement as well as statements from Alaska Airlines and United, go to fox13seattle.com. Reporting live at the airport, I'm AJ Janival, Fox 13 News.